We're starting the vlog at half past three in the afternoon today. We've been hard at work in the office again, haven't we, love? Yeah. All morning, so I didn't want to do a repeat of yesterday's vlog, basically. So I thought I'd start after I'd finished. And we're going to treat ourselves to a lovely bit of lunch out now, aren't we? And for a bit of variety, we thought we'd try Trago Mills in Merthyr, which I've never been to before. I was about to say, stunning UK news, the sun came out, um, but then it went back in again. Oh, no, 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 no it's coming out. Uh, we're nearly there, yeah, IB? Yeah. Oh, wait. Ooh, excellent. Well, 10 minutes. Right, so. 10 minutes? Oh, I'm starving. Oh, we're in Merthyr driving through. I thought I'd get the camera out in case we saw anything of interest. Theatre Royale. Mm. Oh, it doesn't look like it's been... Um, not that Royale anymore. No, this is not. There are some spectacular buildings here. That's a facade and an half, isn't it? Facade and a half. Yeah. I wonder what that was. I dare say somebody will Google that and let me know in the comments. <laughs> I've got some great Googlers. It's got oh, brands. Ooh, yeah. Uh, There's a nice roof. I do like a good roof. Oh, that is a nice roof, yeah. Look what we're approaching. Yeah, well, I know we're approaching McDonald's, but that's not what we're aiming for. We're aiming for the Trago Mills. Can you see the little... Trago? Yeah, are they turrets? What do you call those towers? Follies. Follies. Architectural abominations. Architectural abominations. Oh, okay. I wonder if anyone can go in there. I They've got like a private office up there or something. I doubt it very much, but perhaps I'll be proven wrong. Perhaps they have a functional purpose. You never know. Better shot from the side there, look. I like the rooms. There's a lot of it, isn't there? Yeah, definitely. It's big. That is massive. I had no idea it was that big. Yeah, it's giant. You can only see like half of it. There's another half the other side of this sort of oh, really? covered walkway. Blimey. It's like a spectacular enchanted castle. Yeah, of retail. Retail therapy. Here we come. I see Christmas trees. They're undercover for some reason. Oh, I know why they're undercover. It's because pe people, uh, you nearly did a rude word then, didn't you? I did, yeah. I mean, but luckily not, so I don't have to find the beep it noise. Uh, it wasn't that rude. Would you like to put your case in the back? Yeah. Oh, look, somebody's lost their milk. Just randomly dropped it. They are 19.99. That's, I have no idea what they cost. I never get a real one, to be honest. I wonder if they smell nice. I can't smell it at all. There's a Christmas tree bagging device thingy. Oh, it looks like independent shops. Now oh, there's a cafe, the Brickworks Cafe and Coffee Bar. Looks pretty quiet. Oh no, there are people in there. I'm gonna need a mask. Christmas shack, is it? Or decorated for Christmas anyway, very pretty. Oh, look at that Christmas tree, that's massive, that is. Ivy's waiting patiently for me, look, I've got camera lag. Oh, it's a peacock. Oh, very soothing. But I'm hungry, I'm going to the calf. Just come into the entrance of it, got to do the track and trace thingy. There's no forms. Uh, but there's a QR code. IB's gone to get his whatever it is that he needs to do it with. I don't know what he's getting. I'm just going to stand here and wait for him for a bit. Um, yeah, I'm going to go. Why not? I'm going for fish and chips. There was very little option for vegetarians but they did have fish for pescatarians so I'm going for that. IB's getting cutlery. That's out of order but there are more coffee machines. I'm just gonna get the coffees. £1.15 for coffee. Very small cups though. It was that or one of those. I don't know I got a feeling they keep warmer for longer in these paper ones. Black coffee for IB. Oh can I have mayonnaise? I'm gonna go for Cappuccino. Yeah, I'll bring them over, it's all right. These seats remind me a bit of the Nata and Co ones, actually. They're not the same. I'm allowed to take my mask off now, I'm seated. Do we have to wear masks in here because it's a cafe? 
Do you wear them in the cafe and then take them off when you sit down? Is that still the rule? I don't know if that's still the rule. That was the rule. That was the rule. I don't even know because I just do it anyway, so it doesn't. That's the rule I'm working with. So we're sitting by here, and um, it looks like there's like a more sort of cafe ish bit by there, whereas the bit that we've been to is more restaurant ish, if you know what I mean. That looks more cosy in there. They've got armchairs and things. Look, it's here. This is massive. Look. Massive. massive, just put in the cutlery for a bit of, you know, size thingy. Look at that! Well, That's huge! I'm not gonna well. need dinner. Is he's coming home tonight? <laughs> I'm gonna be like, do you wanna get your own dinner? <laughs> no, I'll feed her something. I don't know. It's anyway, yeah. Big, it? It's huge. They've cooked this fish fresh actually, and it's absolutely delicious. I can't fault it at all. Well, I couldn't finish all that. Um, quite a lot left. I ate the fish. Um, I'd be just looking for a tray so we can clear our table because we don't want to leave it all messy, but can't find one. <laughs> oh, he's gone around the, uh, the entrance bit. Yeah, so we have a little walk around, I think, uh, and explore before we head back. It turns out they do have quite a good vegan menu. Look at all those options there, but because it was just about to close for the day, they said they just didn't have time to cook it from fresh, but that's apparently what they do, so that looks really good. We're heading out now to just follow our noses, I think. Toilet's right by the entrance. Useful to know. So, it's giant. Do you want to actually just walk the whole length? Yeah, I guess. Well, we haven't really got time today, have we, to do a big proper mooch? Oh, have you? Oh, I thought you were rushing to get back. Yeah, I thought get back by seven. Dog bed, anyone? Should we go right down the road? Yeah. Oh, no, we're not going to come out with a load of stuff, are we? Oh, I don't know. You're going to find the tool section, right, aren't you? <gasps> oh, coffee. Hair things. Oh, I might be able to buy a few Christmas presents. I wasn't planning on doing that, but some pretty little things here. 189 for little rose. They're kind of pocket money prices, aren't they? I decided to go back to the entrance to get a couple of trolleys, one each, because I've got a feeling we might buy stuff. I seem to be in a massive pet food section. Look at the size of these bags. Garden tools. Oh, what's that? More pet stuff. Oh, these are for birds. I'm having trouble conveying the scale of this place to you. It is possibly one of the biggest shops I've ever been in in my whole life. We're into garden stuff now. Old bird food, garden tools. Oh, goodness me. Looks like a very um, spiky rake with wheels on. Oh, it's a scarifier. Oh, I just spotted IB. Oh, those are pretty. I have had one of these in the past, actually. <laughs> Look, ah, oh, it's the sort of thing you'd buy on holiday. <laughs> They are pretty, aren't they? The thing is though, if you don't buy a motor, <laughs> they just sit there. Garden ornaments, look. Oh, look, the pheasants, oh, that's so cute. <laughs> totally don't need a pheasant. I don't even really have a garden, as you know. Oh, this will be IB's favorite bit. Look, the tools. He'd be very happy browsing this bit. I expect he's seen it already. I'm standing here filming myself. Next to me is IB taking a photograph of a hydraulic, what is it? A hydraulic press that will do 20 tonnes. Mm. Which is that thing there, yes. <laughs> They've even got a cement mixer. That's all just Bosch there. He was also admiring this rather handsome trolley with hydraulic lift action. 279.99. I don't even know what that blue thing is. Waste oil drainer. Mm. Mm. I am drawn to the sign that says saddlery out of just curiosity. I'm thinking horses. Do we think horses? Or do we think motorbikes? Is that a saddle on a motorbike? Or do we just call it a seat? Oh no, look, look, those are whips. That's got to be to do with horses. Yes, horsey boots. Look at those attractive rakes. Very nice for raking out horsey hay, maybe. Yep, they got reins and stuff. Yep, this is a horse section. The equestrian bit. I did not expect that. I've only got one thing in there and it's a Christmas present so you can't see it. Garden netting, astro turf on big rolls. This looks like sort of DIY stuff, loads of timber. Timber! Fires and lots of them. And this is the plumbing section. Look at all this. <laughs> you bend anyone? Real fire tools set, you know, for when you've got a fire in your house. That takes me back. 
when I was growing up, we didn't have central heating. We had a coal fire with a back burner, which didn't really heat up the radiators more than just lukewarm for most of the time. But yeah, so I remember what it's like to have a fire in your house. We had a park ray. I'm gonna head over there. I just can't believe how massive this place is. They have hot tubs and gazebos. <laughs> I don't think the lions for sale just the little ones i didn't know these things came with you know accessories oh look at the camel oh. can't resist 40 sheets of a5 colored card for 85 pence I just i did try to tell myself never to buy things again just in case i might want them one day but I am doing it anyway. Greeting cards. I've walked past shelves and shelves full of jigsaws and books and children's toys. And I'm literally going to just have to stop filming because there's so much to film. I could be here all day. And I've only gone through a fraction of it. I've been going crazy off camera buying Christmas presents for Izzy. They're mounding up in the trolley so I cannot show it. It's lovely and quiet in here at this time of the day. Oh man, I'm having difficulty now. IB has seen the plastic box section and I just can't get him out of it. It's been here ages. He's just circling round and round and exclaiming with joy and stuff. Yeah, what have you got to say for yourself, mister? Oh, I just love compartmentalising things. You do, yeah. I've just been buying more Christmas presents and now I'm coming past the lighting section. You know, I find it very hard to find presents for my parents these days because they've got everything they could possibly want and need in life otherwise they would have got it and uh, they just don't want more clutter in their homes so yeah just don't know but I have got something today oh sponge now sponge gives me the heebie-jeebies I'm just trying not to think about it too much it's the texture net curtains Oh, material. So, oh, there's like a whole sewing section. Look by the look of it. Oh, I like the dancing skeletons. They're very funky. Oh, some of this is really nice. Look. Oh, I'd have never have thought to come to Trago Mills for material. It's not something I ever buy, though. Crafts and hobbies. Wool. Loads of wool. Apparently, they have a bedroom furniture section. And in other news, I've just bought even more presents and did find a present I think my mum will like. Fingers crossed. I've completely lost my boyfriend, but he was having a really fun time. Mm. He's in his element. So I seem to have pretty much come to the far end now, so I'm probably not going to wander any further up. We've got carpets, rugs, vinyl flooring, showers, bathroom taps, kitchen taps. What's that over there? Kitchen appliances, chairs and stools, mirrors. There's children's clothing there, ladies' clothing there. This is window fashion, acrylics and haberdashery soft furnishings, shoes, clothing, lighting, gifts and more. <laughs> it just goes on and on. Hello, it's about 25 to 7 now. My daughter rang just as I was at the checkout and I had quite a long conversation with her in the vehicle traveling home so didn't get a chance to talk to you in the car sorry about that um but anyway i came in and i thundered up the stairs and i was trying to get my vlog up for tonight because i totally missed the deadline because i was working all day i think you're just gonna have to bear with me now because you know i'm working in the day sometimes and i just can't always make the 5 30 deadline for the vlogs and i probably might have to miss the odd upload here and there you know that's just how it is at this particular phase in life. But anyway, I am definitely going to end this one here because I'm sure I filmed quite a lot in Draco and I don't want the vlog to be half an hour long. But if you've enjoyed it, could you please give it a like? It really helps this little channel to grow and I so appreciate that. And if you're new here and would like to follow more of my life here in the South Wales Valleys, do feel free to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell next to it and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!